What's up guys? This is uh, Ty Zen again. I'm driving through Atlanta right now. So I'll make this quick update video for you guys about the Dow Hub ICO that's been done already. I uh, just want to update everyone on what uh, what's going on with it. I've been getting a lot of requests on uh, what's up with the Dow. So there was some uh, security measures that uh, popped up after the uh, Dow was done, right? So. I think uh, the guys from the uh, Slocket team are proposing, they're submitting a proposal to, uh, to, um, to, to get some money from the Dow, from the $150 million or so that, that the Dow raised so that they can fix some of the security uh, flaws or issues or leaks. Or, uh, I'm not a computer security guy, but I know that there's some things that they want to make sure that's more secure. So they're requesting um, money from the Dow. Now that is not something that you can, um, um, the way that you will have to vote for that is to do it through your either your Ethereum wallet or any kind of wallet service, uh, any kind of Ethereum wallet, okay? So just as a reminder, the Dow tokens are sitting inside your Ethereum account. So you do not need to open up a Dow account um, to get your DAO tokens, all right? They're sitting inside your um, your Ethereum uh, wallet. If you use the official Ethereum wallet from their website at ethereum.org, then uh, it's inside that wallet. If you use the myetherwallet.com like I do, then um, it's inside that when you uh, go to log inside your account, okay? Now, um, there's a few things that, there's a few terminology that's confusing everyone. It confused the hell out of me too when I first heard about it. So I had to get uh, leonfood.com to uh, clarify it for me. So there's uh, there's a word called splitting the DAO. Okay, uh, splitting the DAO means that when so the way because this is the first time that they raise money for the uh, decentralized autonomous organization, a corporation that lives on uh, on the uh, the the blockchain, the Ethereum blockchain, they want to make sure that it's um, that at any time people can uh, basically quote unquote get a refund. It's not the exact term for it, but get a refund for what they invested into the DAO um, because they don't want to get into legal troubles for it, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know why they made it like this, but most of the time when a uh, venture capital, when they request money, they raise money, um, they usually don't give it back once the money is put into a project. In this particular case, they're giving the investors like you and I an opportunity to withdraw our money or if we decide to change uh, our mind. There's two ways that we can convert the DAO back, uh, take the DAO back, okay? So they call it burning the DAO or splitting the DAO, okay? And these two terms, splitting the DAO and burning the DAO uh, uh, tokens, um, it's, it has a similar effect, okay? So one is that you can take the DAO tokens you have and convert it back into ethers. So let's say that you put in 100 ethers uh, and got, uh, let's, uh, let's just use a smaller number so the math is easy for me here. Um, let's say that you, you put in one ether and you got 100 DAO tokens. You can get your ether back by splitting those DAO tokens. And splitting those DAO tokens requires a process called burning them. So when they burn them up, those tokens, those 100 tokens no longer exist in the Ethereum world. They no longer exist in the universe. And then they reverse the transaction and give you your one Ether back. This process is done inside your, um, if, according to my understanding, I have not burned any or split any DAO tokens, but uh, they, um, this is done inside your uh, Ethereum wallet, okay? So once that's made of that that uh, feature is made available, it will be done inside your uh, Ether wallet, is my understanding. And for some reason, uh, there's another two or three weeks that has to pass before you are allowed to split your DAO. The way that I remember this, uh, that's easy for me, is that when you split out of somewhere, that means you are running out of there or you're heading out. So just think of splitting the DAO as getting the hell out of there, okay? Uh, for whatever reason, maybe you don't like 
uh, you change your mind about investing in the Dow. Maybe you took a, um, some um, some um, you got you put a lot of money into the Dow I, uh, Hub ICO, and now that it's made available for trading, you don't like the way it's traded. Uh, for whatever reason you have, you can split your Dow tokens, and those tokens will be burned up, and they no longer exist, and the uh, ethers will be refunded back to you. That is the most economical and efficient way to do it. Okay, is to uh, uh, burn them. I mean, is to split the Dow tokens. They get burnt, and you get your uh, ethers back. The other way to get your money out of the Dow tokens is to go to Poloniex.com and they are um, a reputable exchange uh, as far as I know and they you can send your DAO tokens there and you can convert those to bitcoins and then from there convert the bitcoins to US dollars or euros or yens or whatever it is that your country's uh, uh, currency is using okay so that's uh, that's another way so what is the difference between the two what is the difference between uh, splitting your DAO tokens versus uh, selling them for uh, bitcoins. Okay, there is a uh, big difference. If uh, depending upon, you have to calculate the price of uh, of what Bitcoin is at and what Ethereum is at. So you have to imagine. Okay, if you have one uh, Ether that you invested into the DAO uh, tokens, you have to ask yourself. Okay, if I take those DAO to hundred DAO tokens that I have and I, I can sell it for bitcoins, how much bitcoin will I have? And then you have to ask yourself, if I took that same amount of bitcoins, will I get the same amount of DAO tokens? I mean, will I get the same amount of ether, ethers out of it? And then do the math. And the last time I checked, there was a 13% difference. So if I wanted to uh, convert the DAO tokens uh, and take it out, I would prefer to take it out of the, uh, and convert it to ethers versus convert it to uh, Bitcoins. And that way I can save uh, 13% or the, the way the other way you can look at it is that you will have 13% more uh, uh, ethers by doing it that way. And then take the ethers and then sell it back for uh, Bitcoins. So you'll come out like 13% ahead. At the time that I, uh, I did the math, maybe like four or five days ago, uh, depending upon the price of uh, Bitcoin and, and ethers at that time. Okay, so just uh, share this video with you guys so that you understand what splitting the DAO and uh, what the, it means to burn the tokens. All right, so thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys in a future video.